Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tyler. This is my tabletop. First off, uh, we're obviously going to be painting today, so uh, the paints we're going to be using are Army Painter Matte Black and Gunmetal, Vallejo Royal Blue, Citadel Null Oil, Citadel Gulliman Blue Glaze, and Green Stuff World Psychotic Illusions in their Color Shift Metal series. Uh, so today what we're doing is going through and painting some 3D printed ships that I've been printing. Um, I have five sets of recon ships that are paired up on stands. I have five sets of fighters, three to a stand, and then I have five sets of bombers, two to a stand. So we're going to paint through these. Uh, for the recons, uh, which I'm putting the first coat on these first, um, and I apologize for my knuckles being in the way the whole time, uh, what I'm doing is giving these three coats of the uh, Psychotic Illusions uh, color shift paint. This is the same stuff that I used on my jump points. Uh, the thought is that they are actively camouflaged, so the light's kind of just bending around them, so they're getting the same effect as the warp bubbles that I'm using for my jump gates. Um, now, the fighters and bombers are getting uh, the same basic paint scheme. They're both going to get a 50-50 mix of matte black and gunmetal. Uh, this gives it that really dark uh, silver color. Uh, the next coat is going to be straight gunmetal, um, and I kind of overdo it. Uh, you'll see. Kind of completely removes the first coat, but uh, that's okay. Uh, and then we're going to go through and put in some uh, some blue. Uh, as like a highlight color, uh, stand, uh, it's my fleet color, so, uh, one of the triangles on the fighters each gets a little bit of blue, and then I paint the torpedo tubes of the bombers blue. Then we're going to go in and hit the uh, all the metallic parts on the fighters and bombers with null oil. Paying careful attention to try not to hit the blues. Uh, and then uh, Gulliman blue glaze over the blue areas. Then just a black touch-up uh, where I painted the flight stands. This is pretty straightforward. Um, as for the models themselves, these are very simple um, little fighters and bombers that I designed in Tinkercad. Uh, now the fighters are designed to approximately fit in a drinking straw because I was going to use them as flight tubes. Um, you guys have seen the uh, first draft of the carrier. Um, and then the bombers are a little bit bigger. Uh, their design is kind of informed by the idea of their weapon loadout, which is torpedo tubes. So they've got big torpedo tubes. And what I kind of did to differentiate between the recon and the fighters is they're the same basic shape, but the recon is smoother. And then obviously I paint them differently. Um, so I'm going to speed up and we're just going to enjoy watching me fly through this.
And here is uh, the absolute most tedious thing uh, in this entire paint scheme is these torpedo tubes. Um, and part of it is how I'm holding them. I'm I'm trying to keep them in focus. Um, I actually uh, I had to switch back to my uh, the f camera on my phone because the camcorder that I got bought for Christmas by my partner I'm very happy with, but I it doesn't autofocus, <laughs> um, and that was a mistake. It's it's I got the one that was on my wish list, but it didn't have autofocus, and I'm trying to keep the stinking models in focus for as much as I can. Um, so I'm holding them really awkwardly which makes this tedious. You guys are already watching this at four times acceleration. Um, and seriously, this takes... like half an hour real time um, just to paint the blue on these guys. Um, maybe a little less. I'm looking at the video duration and at four times it's six minutes and I can't remember if it clipped a little before that but oh anyway really tedious I, I gotta work on my how to how to both keep the model in focus while I'm painting and not drive myself nuts with how I'm holding it <laughs> um so anyway uh I'm gonna put some more music on while we get through this part
All right, and we are back. We're done with the null oil step, and I am just hitting the blue parts with Gullum and Blue. Um, uh, I'm not even really hitting all of the torpedo tubes, like n the entirety of the blue of the torpedo tubes. I'm really just hitting the top ish the top and the sides not really worrying about the bottom too much um and i mean really for the most part the glaze is mostly just to keep the um the shine kind of equal between the null oil and the glaze i haven't uh sealed anything yet so um, there's a bit of a difference there. And then we'll do some touch-up. This is going to wrap us up, so turntable shot. Uh, here they are beside a gunship, corvette, and a jump point, and they really do blend in. Uh, I like them. like how they turned out. Uh, I really do enjoy the 3D design and printing and painting as much as I do the scratch building, so um, get ready. There might be some more. I already have some printed that I need to uh, paint. Um, thank you guys for watching so, so much. Um, if you have any comments how I can improve, please leave them below. Uh, the paint and parts list at the beginning came from a comment last week. Um, I do want to improve my craft. Um, as always, uh, do the YouTube thing. Like, share, and subscribe if you liked it. Um, let me know how I can make it better. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Tyler. This has been my Tabletop.